Hey, Kelly here. You know, sometimes you just don't want to have to buy another software tool. I mean, sometimes with just a little more of a tweak, you can use tools you already have in a completely new way. So for example, proposal sending software. Maybe you don't even need it. Maybe I can show you a way to trigger a bespoke PDF sales proposal off a task or activity from your CRM. So here's a little demo to show you how to do that using Zapier. So for the purpose of this demo, we're going to be using Pipedrive as our CRM and we'll be creating a document from a template in Google Docs um, to create our proposal PDF. So what I've done with Pipedrive is um, I want to uh, generate my proposal every time an activity is created within a deal within Pipedrive. So what I've done is I've created a new activity called proposal and I've also created a, um, a filter called activity type is um, proposal and I'll use that in my trigger. So um, here we would um, use Pipedrive as the app, activity matching filter as the trigger event and uh, the filter ID would be activity type is proposal. Now, of course, we could use another trigger such as a deal changing um, stage, for example. Um, and if you're using another CRM, obviously your um, trigger events would be slightly different. You may have to make certain changes within your CRM to, to pick that up if it's something different from a, a deal changing stage or an opportunity changing stage, for example. Um, the next thing we want to do is we want to pull in our deal information from Pipedrive. And the reason that we want to do that is because sometimes when you're using triggers um, such as an activity matching a filter or um, something else that isn't specifically related to the deal, um, we um, sometimes can't pull in all of the information and all of it comes through in the trigger step. So in this particular situation, I want to be able to use uh, my product information within Pipedrive and the deal to um, add that into the template. And that product information, with the exception of the deal value, doesn't actually come through in my trigger step. So I'm going to use a find deal in Pipedrive um, step to, to pull that information through. So I'll use uh, the find deal action event and I want to use the ID of the deal to search for, which I can pull that in from my um, trigger step and we want to use an exact match. The next thing that we want to do is I want to have today's date in my proposal document. So we will use the formatter by Zapier app and the date time um, action event and we will customize that so that we're using the format transform function and we're just going to put in the text today. And you could actually map in a different format, say uh, the date the activity was created um, from our action, uh, sorry, from our trigger step. You could put that map that in here, but I'm just going to use the, the text today and um, I'm gonna change it to a format that I want to see. So the month, the date, and the year. Time zone doesn't really matter for this particular um, scenario, but if you were using um, different formats mapped from other steps, you might wanna choose your correct time zone. And uh, you'll see that's come through like that. And then the next step we want to put in place is how to actually create the document uh, from a template within Google Docs. So firstly, we want to make sure that we have a template to use. So um, I would always create a new folder for your template and always make sure that your template document is in the same folder that you want your new uh, proposal documents to be created in. Um, that's only because um, this particular um, step here actually needs you to specify where that um, housing folder is as such. Um, and you'll find sometimes that if it's not in the correct folder, you won't be able to use the, the template document. Um, so we've I've just created this very basic um, template document. And the next thing I need to do is add in some merge fields um, so that I can pull all my information from Pipedrive um, using Zapier as, as the intermediary. So um, in order to create merge fields, I've just used two curly brackets, um, some text to identify what that field is, and then two curly brackets at the at the end to close it off. 
So I've done that for each one of these fields, um, each one of these um, lines that I want to create information for. So customer name, company name, proposal date, product, and, um, and the price. So I've created a merge field for each one of those. So going back to our um, uh, Zap, we would then use the Google Docs app and action event would be create document from template. And then within there, the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you specify your folder for the new document. So the folder that we created for this document, you would um, use within this drop down here and you would find that. And that will help you to find your template document. So it should bring up your template document as long as it's in that folder. So you would then select your template document from here. Um, and then you would add in your document name, which is also a required field. So I'm going to use the deal title um, from my step two, which I could use from step one as well. And the next thing we want to specify is because we're obviously going to be sending out a PDF to, um, to our new customer, we want to make sure that they can actually view that file. So we'd want to change the sharing preferences to anyone with link can view. Um, I wouldn't worry about this field for now. Um, and then you'll see a list of different fields which should have been pulled in from your template document. So these fields match the fields that we've created as merge fields. So you'll see name, company, date, products, and price. So I'm just going to map these in from my other steps. So my name will be John Smith mapped in from um, step two. You could do that from step one as well. Same for the company. My date will be the date that I uh, created using the formatter. Uh, the products would be from step two because I wanted to pull that in. That's not in my step one. And my price I've also put in as a deal value, which I've pulled in from um, step one, which I could also pull in from step two. Um, so that would be that. And then we've, uh, we would send the data so that we can create our document. And I've done that already. So I'll show you that this is what it would look like pretty um, simple and straightforward. And obviously you can customize your template to whatever you want it to look like in, um, in Google Docs. Um, and then the next thing we want to do is send an email to John Smith with a PDF attachment of our proposal. But in order to personalize our email, uh, we want to um, just use his first name. And that information doesn't come through in um, either of our step one or step two. Uh, pipe drive steps. So we'll use formatted by Zapier, the action event text, and um, the split string transform option, which is actually just split text, which you'll see here, split text. And um, we're going to use the name as the input value. We don't need to add in a separator because the default is space and this is there's just a space between the two words. And we just want to return the first segment index, which is John, which you will see here. And then in our send email and Gmail step, and of course you can um, substitute this um, Gmail step for Outlook or another email sending service. Um, and use the send email action event and map in our email address for John, uh, customize it a little bit with who it's from, from me um, and my name. I've added in a subject. I'm just using plain text here and I've added in some basic text here and mapped in John's name from, um, from the last step and my signature. And this is really important, the attachment part. Um, we want to be able to pull in a PDF uh, version of the Google Docs um, the Google Docs template that we've just created here. So all you need to do is um, just type in export links. And you'll see that a whole list of different document files gets, um, gets brought up. And we want to use the export links application forward slash PDF, which I've already mapped in here. And that will allow you to send a, an email with a, um, a PDF to John. Um, and that is everything. So now we've actually created and sent a bespoke sales p a proposal PDF straight from your CRM. So there we go. Simple, elegant, minimalist. Enter data, change a task or activity, mail merge a doc that creates a PDF and send it off. Brilliant. 
You can get a copy of this ZAP template at www.solver.co.uk forward slash templates. And for more tips like this one, why don't you subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so that you're notified instantly when I post a new video. And if you'd like to be notified when my new course is launched with tons of Zapier tips and tricks, visit my website and get on my course launch list. The details are in the video description below. See you on the next video. Work smarter, not harder.